You know, Wes, when I was a kid, my parents made me go to bed at halftime of Monday Night Football <laughs> every week. But this one, we get to stay up for all four quarters. It's time for Final Thoughts. Okay, Wes, what's at stake? For the Green Bay Packers, a lot in this particular contest because one, it's a division game against a common opponent, the Detroit Lions. Two, Chicago and Minnesota are on a bye this week. So, Packers, this is a chance to get within one game of the division lead of the Vikings. If you lose it, you're two games behind. So, from that standpoint, a lot there. But there's also the home field advantage aspect of it, too. They no longer have that lengthy streak of victories at Lambeau Field over the Lions, but still have won 25 of the last 26 games, including playoffs here against Detroit. So, Trying to keep that success going and building upon it, this is a good opportunity to do that against a team that's been having some issues out of their own right. Yeah, definitely. The Lions have lost three straight here, and that's where I say what's at stake for the Packers is getting that first win for Brett Hundley. Mike McCarthy talks about it every year. The first win is always the toughest one to get. Well, now in the situation the Packers are in, it's another first win they need to get with the backup quarterback and with Brett Hundley. And I, I think you agree with me, Wes. If the Packers can get this going, you get this first win under your belt, the entire picture changes as to where they are. The Packers have lost two in a row now. But as you mentioned, you win this one, you get within one game of Minnesota, then you still have half a season left to go after that. Plenty of things in front of the Packers if they can get this first one. Give me a player to watch, Wes. Mike, for me, it's Mike Daniels. He's had a long history going up against TJ Lang. Those guys battled relentlessly in practices over the years. Really iron sharpening iron in a lot of ways. You know there's going to be a lot of emotion, a lot of goodwill. They have a ton of respect for each other. But I think Mike Daniels, paired with what he's been able to accomplish at times this season, how disruptive he's been in the middle of the offensive line, this is a good opportunity for him, and I expect a big game out of him against his former teammate. Yeah, and that'll be number 76 against number 76 because Lang now with the Lions wearing Mike Daniels' uh, Green Bay Packers number. So my player to watch is on the other side of the ball, Wes, and it's Jordy Nelson. And you know, really, I could pick Jordy Nelson or Devontae Adams or Randall Cobb in this situation. The bottom line is the Packers need to get the ball to their playmakers. Mike McCarthy has talked about it since the Saints game. Brett Hundley has talked about it. Only five touches for those top three receivers for Green Bay against New Orleans, and we all know that that's not enough. The Packers need to get the ball to their big play guys, and it's got to start on Monday night. Wes, I say the Packers win if they get off the field on third down on defense. That's another thing that's been talked about here since the New Orleans game. It kind of bit the Packers in the rear end a little bit against Drew Brees. The Packers have to be better on third down against Matthew Stafford. And if you are, maybe you can make some big plays against Stafford. The Packers, 13 games in Matthew Stafford's career against Green Bay. He's got 19 interceptions and he's been sacked 29 times. The Packers have had success getting some big plays against Matthew Stafford and maybe be forcing him into some mistakes, and that would be big come Monday night. Yeah, Mike, I think the Packers win this game if they make Matthew Stafford one-dimensional, make him throw the ball by shutting down the run. Mike Daniels, as I mentioned earlier, in this Packers run defense, I don't think the statistics tell the whole story there. There is a lot of ability there, and I think they are ready to be able to get some big stops going forward. Kenny Clark is having a heck of a year, a breakthrough season. Blake Martinez is tackling everybody. Right now, they're going up against the 30th ranked rushing offense in the league led by Amir Abdullah. If the Packers can come out and set the tone early and stop the run, make those third and longs third and long, they're going to pick up a victory against the Lions. Yeah, all right. And with that, we will sign off on final thoughts. But be sure to follow all of our coverage of Packers Lions on Packers.com and on all your social media channels. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ball game. <laughs>